Bruce Lee faced off against Jackie Chan. They weren't acting anymore. The injuries were just real. What's up guys, it's the old ninja wearing aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the modern ninja. This is yet another unscripted video because you guys seem to like it and I kind of like pissing off editing DJ. Yeah, this is editing DJ and uh... Here we go. Bruce Lee is one of the most influential martial artists ever. With the work he's done in his films and in training, he's changed how the world, and especially America, sees martial arts. And so here are a couple amazing facts and legends about the late, the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee faced off against Jackie Chan. So this first fact about Bruce Lee actually involves Jackie Chan before Jackie was famous. In the film Enter the Dragon, Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan battled in a couple iconic fight scenes. And apparently during filming, they just started fighting because on two occasions, Jackie Chan got beat up by Bruce Lee. In fact, at some point in the filming process, they weren't acting anymore. The injuries were just real. <laughs> J Jackie Chan later talks about this, telling it as one of his favorite stories ever. And it turns out Bruce Lee accidentally hit Jackie Chan in the face with a stick. And look, I know how fast Bruce Lee is. We're actually going to cover it a little bit later. Um, I would not want him to put that speed on a stick swinging at my face. That doesn't sound like a good time, but it would definitely be my favorite story. Bruce Lee charged hundreds of dollars for private lessons. I mean, people would sign up to pay $275 for one hour of training with Bruce Lee. And I mean, he's Bruce Lee, so that at first that sounds like a great deal. But then you remember, this was back in the 60s. And Bruce Lee charged a whopping $275 in the 60s. And if you change that to 2020 money, that's gonna be $2,500 for one hour. I'm not even gonna lie to you, I would love to make that kind of money. Holy crap, that's crazy. Time out, time out. We're gonna do some simple math real quick. You think I'm kidding, we're really doing math right now. So if Bruce Lee had a normal work schedule, let's say 40 hours a week, he would be making, in current, today's money, $100,000 a week. Let me say it again, $100,000 a week. That's $4.8 million a year. Guys, guys, I'm, how do I get there? How do I get there? Speaking about private lessons, if you want to get private lessons from yours truly, then, you know, just message me on Instagram or email me here. Bruce Lee actually did kick too fast for cameras. Now with the amazing advancements taking place every year, we are used to dealing with technology that is much more powerful in the filming era. Like, I'm literally filming this video on my phone and it's better than anything back then could have dreamed of being. And so with that said, those cameras couldn't actually keep up with how fast Bruce Lee was punching. And he would literally be told by directors to pull back the speed so the camera could actually tell what's going on. The director of Enter the Dragon actually told him to pull back because he was kicking so fast that it made the kick look fake. The directors had to reshoot this. The directors had to reshoot the scene. Oh, the directors had to reshoot the scene. Oh, I'm so bad at saying words, guys. I am so bad at it. The directors then had to reshoot the scene with special slow motion cameras, which is wild. Bruce Lee's punching speed is literally legendary. I mean, actually legendary. Bruce Lee could react and punch in just about five hundredths of a second. That's 0 0.05 seconds. 0 0.05 seconds. In, in fact, he punched so fast that in many scenes in the Green Hornet, they had to redo it after post because they realized they couldn't actually see the punches and it just looked like people were falling down next to Bruce Lee. Oh, maybe that's where No Touch Martial Arts comes from. The legends of Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee also had no regrets. Don't get me wrong, the fact that he died so young is a tragedy, but one of his many popular quotes says, if I die tomorrow, I have no regrets. I did what I want to do. You can't expect more from life. And honestly, he did. He, it, he did what he loved doing. Bruce Lee was never afraid of death. And during the time he was here, he 
became a legend. So much so that he's in the top 100 most influential people of his century. And with that, let me know what other martial artists you might like that I cover. I mean, I think I'm going to do Michael Jai White because he's my personal favorite martial artist ever. But if you want me to do Jackie Chan, Donnie Yen, or someone else, let me know. And of course, hit me with the HBO special. So help a brother out and hit the like, drop a comment, and hit that subscribe button so you see my next video. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about the best martial arts ever. No, totally not biased. Or this other one that YouTube thinks you'll enjoy as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one.